Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this week we're doing something a little bit different than we normally do. I'm actually down here in Florida on vacation with the family and we've hooked up with my buddy Chad Bailey down here of Size Matters Catfishing. Yep. Tonight we're going to be uh, chasing some flathead catfish, uh, something you hadn't seen on my channel very much. So uh, can't wait to get into it tonight. And uh, I'd say uh, Ch Chad's full of knowledge on these flatheads. So that's one reason I want to fish with him, just to learn a little bit from him. So uh, guys, I think you're in for a treat tonight. We're going to get these baits out in the water, see what we can make happen. All right, guys, we're just uh, scanning the banks right now, looking at structure. And I don't know if you can see us. Uh, you want me to turn it down some? Uh, it's a little bright there. There you go. Let's go right in here. And when we're scanning these banks, Chad, uh, what are you looking for when you want to stop a flathead <laughs> fish? It, so it, it's funny because it gets so tight on some of this with the structure. I actually look for a place that I think I can get my baits down. We have so much structure on this river and you can obviously see it, you know, here on the screen. If it's 28 foot of water right here, I need the structure to only be on the bottom three or four foot. I need a break in it. If, there's, if it's 24 foot or 30 foot to the bottom of the river, but I've got structure here, it's 30 foot. I got structure sticks up all the way to 15 foot. That means you're fishing through 16 foot of that tree. That's pretty tough. That's a real good image right there of what we're looking at and then what we're trying to avoid. So we'll try to get just above or just below that tree so we can actually get at least half of our baits that we're gonna fish down to the bottom. If not, we have a better chance to catch a squirrel. <laughs> We hooked up here, guys. Let's we'll see what we got here. A big old flathead. Yeah, that fish never hit. <laughs> that fish never hit. We were reeling the rods in. He's That's just sitting crazy. there with it. Yeah, it's great. He just sat there with it, didn't he? Never did nothing. What did he hit? The bluegill? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a live bluegill. Trying to save your life, my buddy. prefer the braid over the mono? Yeah. For flathead fishing. And it's 100% it's due to fishing in this structure. Mm -hmm. You can't break mono. You can't, you, you, there's just so much stretch. You tear your reels up, you move the boat around, you mess, the, mess everything up, having to pull and deal with all that stretch in that mono. I run that 150 pound braid, an 80 to 100 pound leader. And I, I only reason that I do that is for the structure. It does not take that to catch a fish, you know. Yeah. Uh, every time, people always got something to say about it, about be using such heavy braid. Everybody's like, oh, that's, you don't take all that, it's such overkill. 
I don't do it for the fish. I do it to save my tackle. And I do it because I can literally reel down, get it tight. It has no stretch to it. Reel it down, put my finger on the bell just to keep it from slipping. Pull it, it's gonna pop off. All right guys, I didn't get any more of the fish catches on this video here because me and Chad decided to go live throughout the night. Uh, I did a live stream for a little bit, but I didn't have very good service, so my live stream kind of ended up like crap. Uh, I think Chad got some pretty good footage, so make sure you go over and check his uh, this video out on his channel. I'll put a link to that video in the description on this one, and uh, make sure to go to his channel, Size Matters Catfishing. Uh, give him a subscribe and a like, and uh, like I said, there's a ton more catfishing tips on there for flatheads. And uh, he has a great channel, so make sure you go support him. We'll see you next time.